आर डिकेड्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक थैंक यू मान्य विजय थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू मान्य जवाहर सरकार जी सिक्स मिनट्स सिक्स मिनट्स हाउ सिक्स मिनट्स हाउ मेनी मिनट्स सर सिक्स मिनट्स सर सिक्स सिक्स सोलह था सर फाइव प्लस वन सिक्स बट इट वॉज सिक्सटीन सर इट्स इयर नो सर सिक्स मिनट इट्स इयर You anyway, have one more member sir, from your party to speak. Ha, I think Dr. Santanu Sen, six plus six, twelve. Please speak. Your time has started. Sir, uh, sir, with your kind permission, I start my argument against this budget by mentioning the first point that this is a budget that depends heavily on loans and debt. The fiscal deficit is a very innocent term. 5.8 percent is the fiscal deficit for the current year, Thank which you. translates to 15 and a half lakh crores of borrowing. 15 and a half lakh crores of borrowing, and in this budget, out of 47 lakh crores, 17 lakh crores consist of borrowing. So you are dressing up with a neighbor's Banarasi sari and claiming that you are uh, you are prosperous. sir in the last 56 year in the last 67 years the government of india has borrowed just 56 lakh crores in 67 years almost 70 years this government in nine and a half years has borrowed uh, has borrowed three times more today india's debt stands at 164 lakh crores which is unprecedented and in danger level so we are in a terrible state where interest repayments have to be done that that is primarily because of the lopsided taxation structure the indian express mentioned recently that in the last 5 years 4 years to be more specific the personal income tax paid by people like you and me have gone up by 76% three times and whereas corporate income tax which suffered a cut anyway 4 lakh crores of corporate income tax were were remitted were lowered corporate income tax went up by only 24% where do you pay for developmental schemes where is the payment left for developmental schemes you are paying 12 lakh crores of interest you are paying 2 and 1/2 lakh crores on pension 6 lakh crores on defense and the whole lot of unavoidable non development expenditure comes to 42 to 43 <laughs> lakh crores out of 47 so what do we get by way of real development what do we get for the poor we get in thousands we get narega of 86000 crores whereas it should be at least double that amount we get avas yojana we refuse to call it pm avas yojana we get 81 lakh crores 81000 crores against double that demand when we talk of talk of such developmental schemes our immediate attention is drawn to the manner in which west bengal has been purposely targeted only for the fact that the people of west bengal rejected mr modi and mr shah who came 40 who came 22 times to campaign people of west bengal are made, made to pay for the sin of having rejected the bjp how much is this 1.15 lakh crores is due to us just now the prime minister or prime minister mentioned that if i get a poke if i get a pain in the leg my hand goes to see it every part of india is the same for us but here is a figure that i'm reading out 1.5 lakh crores deliberately stopped mr <coughs> minister of state for finance deliberately stopped out of which pm awas yojana 9.33000 crores Uh, nha 830 crores sorry that was 933 crores gram sarak 770 crores swachh bharat 350 crores a total of 1.15 lakh crores of dues to the state have been purposely deliberately maliciously malevolently stopped so that the people of bengal <coughs> cannot in, cannot have any uh, form of Uh, uh, garib livelihood 100 days labor they cannot they are deprived of water they are deprived of toilet through swachh bharat they are deprived of health facility through national health mission they are deprived of everything unemployment has reached such a stark level 
that this government is in complete denial. Complete denial. More than 50% of the 140 crore Indians belong to the below 25 years. And what is the state? Because this government refuses to release figures, this government refuses to release the figures of the, the, of the consumer expenditure survey for the last 10 years. We have to get figures from other impartial bodies. And the CMI's last December report says that 45% of the youth below 25, I repeat, sir, 45% of the youth below 25 are unemployed. It is they who will teach you a lesson. It is they who will teach the government a lesson. Where the labor participation ratio is concerned, labor <coughs> force participation ratio is concerned, 37% of women in India are in that force, which means two-thirds of Indian women are deprived of any active and positive labor contribution. This is the worst in the world. Sir, I keep on record, this is the worst in the world excepting tin pot republics. This is the worst state in the world. And this government is on, is on denial please, mode. Please on every sector of possibility. Please now. They have cut down the budget. In education, the budget has been cut by 7%. In health, it should be at least 3%. Every respectable country in the world has above 3%. And India's, India's present, uh, the government of India's contribution is not even 40% of, uh, of 3%. That is, they have not even given uh, three and a half lakh crores. There is a deliberate slight on education, on now. public health, on garib welfare, so that plutocracy, Plutocracy, the rule of the rich, can thrive from the support in whatever matter, bad manner they receive from the government Thank for very various benefits like leasing of airports at throwaway <laughs> prices and covering them up with committee Thank reports. You. I'm calling that this person. state Thank cannot you. go on. This Thank budget you. requires an immediate Thank you. Honorable Sri Thank you, sir. M. Sanmugam.